doing really dumb things. Maybe dumb people doing horrible things. You want to um, move to the, to the last topic? Yeah, let's let's go into this last topic here. Um, I <laughs> I can't I, figure this one out. I really I really can't figure this one out. I'm I'm really floored about it. Um, so it, here's here's the latest topic of uh, well the latest headline of it. It says uh, Bills rookie quarterback Jake Fromm apologizes for quote elite white people text. Um it was I'm sorry. I I'm just I'm <laughs> I don't I even know what to do but laugh now. No, I really I, don't. He, here's here's what he here's what he said in the conversation, here's the text. right? Uh it said Read the, the conversation took place in 2019. Uh it basically Fromm wrote uh, but no, guns are good. They just need to let me get suppressors. And then he said, just make them very expensive so only elite white people can get them. Ha ha. Uh, then Fromm went on to claim he was not an elite white person later in the conversation. And he released an apology today. It said, I am extremely sorry that I chose to use the words elite white people in a text message conversation. Although I never meant to imply that I am an elite white person, as stated later in the conversation, there is no excuse for that word choice and sentiment. While it was poor, my heart is not. Now more than ever is the time to support and uh, to support togetherness, um, and I stand against racism 100. percent I promise to commit myself to being a part of the solution in this country. I address my teammates and uh, teammates and coaches in a team meeting today, uh, and I hope that everyone can forgive me. Uh, I'm, I'm just like, I don't even know what to do but laugh, and it's not a laughing matter. But I don't know what else to do. It's kind of a laughing matter because I mean you gotta you gotta laugh at some of this stuff just to keep from being like what in the world are we doing? How here? are you this dumb? Yes, like I understand he was talking to one of his friends, but still this was in 2019. Yes, the, yeah. he was a now, sophomore. It came in out college. at a really bad time. If this would have yes. randomly came out, you know, you know, nine months ago, it wouldn't have been great. But coming out today. I mean, it's just, it, it, it floors me. Uh, the person that shared it was uh, uh, a girl that, I don't know if it was a sister or a girlfriend or something of the guy that Jake Fromm was texting, from what I understand. And then, of course, we get the news that Fromm, it, like they were discussing, the Bills were possibly getting, you know, just releasing Fromm. Like, it, it, he didn't cost that much money. Um, no, he was a it, super late pick. Ben asked, did you guys read the whole conversation? Yes, read the whole conversation. It, it, there is no way to explain this. There's no way to go around it. I don't, uh, I don't get it. I don't know. No, it's just it, it's just ridiculous. Um, it, he said, uh, so Ben said that girl wanted to be cool and leaked those texts, which is kind of messed up. Not an excuse for Fromm, though. That's the thing. She leaked the text messages, and even, st- even if you're just talking to your friends, not really something to joke about. We don't we like, don't need to be having those conversations with our friends. Like I mean, you, what you say in private is how you really feel about things. You and you I can say and, I was joking all day long, but the things that you say in private is where your real heart is. Yeah, okay? I I don't have any friends that would ever say something like that. Like it, yeah, I don't. I I've, I don't need. I, I think need, back I, well, to my text message. I'm not going to say that. I don't know that I don't, but. Well, how about this? Nobody has said it to me. I feel like no, I've made no, my they don't. They, I would, they know that if they say it to me, that we're going to have a different conversation and it would get awkward and uncomfortable. That's okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm totally comfortable with having uncomfortable conversations. Now, then, in high school, I 100 percent had friends that I had to talk to about this kind of thing. And no, hey, I'm not going to get into that. In high you know, school, I I could have been the guy, and this is a terrible thing. I could have yeah. been the guy that said something now, like that to be in fair, high school. This was two know. years removed from high school. So, yeah. like for, for like Jake Fromm, he's no, still a young okay. guy, but he still should be smarter than that. And I feel like I was, we've advanced more we grew as a country. Up in my high school years was the '90s. All right, that's what we I was used about to a say. A lot of words we can't use now. Fromm knows that. Yes, I, I didn't know that. It was yeah. It is, that's what I'm saying. I feel like we have advanced as a country since yeah. then. Uh, we yes. have progressed. Yes. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, Matt jumps in and said, "I think I need to run for president so I can fill in some of the details of my 20s because uh, <laughs> he may not be able to remember them." Uh, Joseph. So said, here's my question about Fromm and the Bills. Uh, that's what I was about to get to. Uh, he said, "Did Fromm get caught and is now just backtracking?" Uh, yeah. And then he yeah. said, "What gun did he buy?" Uh, Damien said, "Fromm equals Breeze." Um, and mm. 
I don't. I don't think that's exactly the same either. Then no, uh, I don't think they're close. No, not even. Not even close. What Fromm did is way worse than anything Breeze did, and Fromm also doesn't have near the footprint or no. our platform that Breeze does not at all. Close. But here's what sucks. It really sucks for the Bills because the Bills yeah. now have two quarterbacks on their roster that they honestly have to apologize for for shit that they tweeted, said, got leaked out, whatever. Yeah, that's that's and a that sucks for. The, that sucks for Bills fans. It's because, like, come on, man. Yeah, if you're a Bills this... fan and you were tired of Josh Allen and, you you know, you didn't like the stuff that came out when he got drafted, and now you got this other guy named Fromm, and he comes in, and he's high pedigree, low draft stock. Maybe he could be, you know, our next heir apparent kind of thing and take over, whatever. And then this is like, oh, yeah, you can't win for losing, it, man. It just it, it sucks. Damien jumped in on YouTube said, people need to shut the hell up and keep things to themselves if they don't want to get judged. Uh, it, I think that's a that's really smart advice for a lot of people. Really, yeah. Talk um, less. It's act it, more. It, it just it blows my mind that we are still having these conversations. You know, like I, you you can have disagreements here and there, but like sure. it, what he said in the text message, uh, one to get back to the breeze thing, completely different than what breeze was saying. You can have. Uh, you Reasonable can have, people can disagree with Breeze. Yes, you. I you do can believe have arguments. that you can have Breeze. I don't. I don't agree with it. I yeah. think you can have that and not be a terrible person. I be, don't think about Breeze, you can right? believe this. Yes, I don't think you can believe what Fromm said and not be a terrible. person. Now, whether it's a joke or you know, I didn't mean. I was just dicking around. Whatever. Yeah. There is a lot gorgeous. of that. There's a lot of dicking around, and and I. There's some, but the, no, I get no passes for that here. No, it just can't. Not from us. Not from us. And not uh, probably not from anybody. Just an idiot. Just an idiot. You got that right. All right, that's going to wrap up today's show. I hadn't seen anything else breaking. Um, weird, weird show. Yeah, definitely. But uh, well, it's a weird time, though. I mean, hell, I don't know what normal is anymore. It so. definitely is. Uh, for anybody that is still watching, we'll uh, we're going to have a, a pretty big announcement next week. So hopefully, all of you will stick around for us. I'm not sure what day, all that kind of mess. But but just letting you know, there is something on the horizon that we're pretty excited about uh, regarding the future of the show going forward. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that when we get there. Uh, Matt Miller jumps in. He said, better to remain silent and be thought a fool than to speak and to remove all doubt. It's better to keep your mouth shut and appear stupid than open it and remove all doubt. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 100%. Good way to end it. And then Ben said, this is why I hate Georgia. Yeah, I mean, you can hate Georgia for other reasons. <laughs> I'm okay with so, using this as a reason to hate Georgia. I like Georgia. Uh, I, <laughs> Kevin... Uh, KV said, adios, and then Jim John said, uh, how long to leave us on a cliffhanger? Uh, about a week. That's it. It's not long. We're we just, didn't mean to. Listen, yeah, we're, I'm we're just, waiting, I'm letting we're y'all waiting know. on solid information, too. You're on a cliffhanger. You're on a cliffhanger. I'm holding my breath, turning blue over here, holding my yeah. breath. Yeah, we, we got we to gotta get everything figured out and whatnot before we announce anything, but it, it's definitely good news. It's good for uh, for everybody. So, yeah. you, it's good uh, for us. I don't know about everybody else. It's good for us. Ben, ben said, give us a hint. Well, it has to do with the show and, and what we're going to do in the fall. So that's enough of a hint, I do believe. Uh, it has to do with football. How's that? Um, Running for governor of Mississippi. That's it. <laughs> you probably should have already announced that. So open the Venmo. Send me some cash. <laughs> you, hey, you got, uh, you got, what, two years? Okay. KV said pizza reviews. No. No. Uh, I'm not going to no, steal No, I'm not ripping off stick. somebody else's. We rip off enough people's shtick as it is. Can't, yeah. That's Can't take that. We, we're going to be doing our own thing, but it's it'll be all good. All right. Oh you got, I didn't realize that many people were watching at the end of this thing. You guys are Look awesome. That. Look at that. They care. Yeah, you guys actually care. I appreciate that. So yeah. since you care so much, do us a favor. Share the show out. That's going to help us along with this situation. Uh, share the show. Tell everybody you know. Make sure you download it and leave some podcast reviews. For the love of God, leave some reviews. We would appreciate that. Uh, you guys have been wonderful. As always, you help drive the conversation. Uh, we couldn't do the show without you. It wouldn't be the same. You guys make it entertaining. You make it wonderful, and we appreciate you for that. Uh, yep. Check out tunicatravel.com. Check out winningcureseverything.com, and we will see all of you. Uh, oh, wait, no, no, no. i gotta, I got to do the tagline, right? Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.